So we're here with Steve Squeezy. Hey, everybody. From the Gumbo Goombas. Rare moment at the piano. What we were doing today is shooting a little video for our new uh, single we have. What's it called, Steve? Drifting Off and Dreaming of You. And tell me a little bit about that song. Uh, well, uh, my uh, lyricist uh, partner, Ken Morrison, and I are always reliving the past in different ways. And uh, uh, we were kind of shooting for a little uh, tribute to nature and dreams and regrets. And, uh, and uh, I think we captured something really pretty. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that uh, we did with, with this song um, was we added strings to it, which we have never used in the Gumbo Goombas before. And uh, that's awesome. Can we bring us a, a string section with us? I think we, I'd like to do that. So at some point, if we can, uh, if we can figure that out. The reason why you're not seeing me now is because uh, I'm behind the camera and Steve is in front of the camera. How does that work? Well, not too well, I guess. <laughs> if we had, if we had a budget, we could have a real cameraman, but we don't have a budget at this, at the moment. So, <laughs> So tell me, Steve, uh, what do you got cooking as far as your uh, your writing goes? I know you you work on a lot of movies and TV yeah, stuff. What do you got uh, cooking? Well, I'm, I'm working on a few projects right now. One thing I'm really excited about is uh, I've got a brand new album out with Greg Ruby, who's a fantastic hot club style guitarist in, in Brooklyn. And what's and, the name uh, of that album? Uh, it's called Corner Cafe by uh, Greg Ruby and Steve Rice. And where can we get it? Uh, well, you, right now you can get it from me because uh, we did these newfangled days. You do a physical release first, and then you do a Bandcamp release, and then you do a Spotify release. And I don't know how all this works, but he knows how it works. You know how it works. Yeah. I'm Everybody sure. knows how it works. So it's so. not out yet on digitally yet? It's not out on what, any It'll Any be, date? In mind? It, it'll be early uh, 2023. Oh, okay, so, cool. Uh, and uh, also, I've got a, um, an album of uh, new songs, new old-fashioned songs with Ken Morrison that uh, Stephanie Porter, a fantastic jazz singer out of Seattle, uh, uh, collaborated on the album with me, and I'm really looking forward to that, and that'll be sometime in 2023. So what do you have out there? If, somebody, if somebody's watching this and they want to go check you out, where, where can they find you? Where, where's your music? What kind of stuff? Oh, uh, you, you can find me on Spotify. Look for Steve Rice Combo on Spotify or Steve Rice or Steve Rice Productions, um, but I uh, uh, put out stuff mainly under Steve Rice Combo, and you can also find me with a great New Jersey-based band called the Gumbo Goombas. And uh, we've got a, uh, a new album coming out, released as singles. And then when's that coming out as a physical product, Joe? I'm thinking about next year. Okay. Like maybe Mardi Gras. Yeah. The maybe tunes, Mardi Gras. The tunes are so good. And you took our first album. It sounded like our band playing on a soundstage, even though because of COVID and everything, we had to have players come in one at a time this you just went crazy with production and we've got an orchestra we have a drum corps uh we have a kids choir we have all kinds of incredible uh, uh additions and flavors to the new album i really i admire your large scale vision joe well i had nothing to do so you know i was just sitting at home <laughs> doing nothing so you know just took up my time you know doing some some crazy fun stuff that i never had a ch opportunity to do before so how about your uh, your film work? Tell tell the audience a little bit about some of the oh, uh, movies yeah. well, and TV I, stuff you've done. I have a niche uh, uh, writing what you would call source music for the film and television industry. And uh, so I don't actually compose to picture. Everyone asks me, do you, do you compose to picture? No, I really just uh, uh, create music that I know my publishers advise me on, uh, on uh, some styles of music that they're looking for. And so I've had my uh, jazz piano tracks and accordion tracks in shows anywhere from The Big Bang Theory, Orange is the New Black, Walking Dead, uh, Handmaid's Tale, uh, tons of popular shows. And uh, <clears throat> sometimes you can hear it really well, and sometimes it's... Uh, like five seconds of cell phone on hold music behind a car exploding. So but the check's gonna, all cash, right? The check's all cash, you know. <laughs> People say that the music industry is, uh, uh, is a deadly place, and I find it to be a delightful place. That's right. 
So why don't you tell the folks out in uh, Zyderland uh, what movies or TV shows that your music is in? Okay, well, I mentioned some of the shows, but uh, as far as films, uh, I have a uh, track in Green Book, which was an amazing film uh, from uh, a few years back. Uh, one of the really amazing things that happened uh, to me is I've got 10 minutes of original music in Orson Welles' final motion picture called The Other Side of the Wind, which was released 40 years after he died. And that's a, that's a whole story itself on how that happened. And don't ask me what people have literally asked me, what was it like working with Orson? That, that didn't happen, but I'm thrilled to be in the film. So Great. And in TV, TV shows, though, you, you, you have a few things in TV? Oh, sure. Uh, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, uh, Handmaid's Tale, Orange is the New Black, Sons of Anarchy, Better Call Saul. Uh, it's a long list. It really is a long list. Well, tell us. What's the list? We want to know. What do we want to know? Oh, I can't you can't, tell you. You, the, can't, you can't remember? It's, it's hundreds. Oh, it's really? Hundreds. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Well, congratulations on your success with TV and food and movies. And uh, I wish I was on camera with you, but I'm the factual photographer, so that's not going to work. But okay. uh, well, next time we'll reverse the role. Yeah, so. next time we'll do it in the studio at my house. Mm -hmm. We're we're actually at Steve's house in his studio, and we put up this green screen to uh, photograph the uh, the piano. That is, if you can see this piano here. It's a beautiful piano. What kind of piano is it's this, It's a Steve? lovely Steinway L. So. It's a Steinway, right? Yeah, you betcha. Yeah. Get that logo there. Yeah. That's so the money show. This is the money. And so you use this for recording, right? Uh, well, sometimes I do, actually, and sometimes I don't. I do uh, the most of my recording I actually do in other studios. I have a favorite studio in Seattle. It's called Sophia Hant Studio. Wonderful studio. They have a... Uh, uh, Fondrick and Hobbs Grand Piano, which is a boutique brand that you may not see any other place in the world except uh, that. Fondrick place. and Hobbs. Fondrick and Hobbs. Wow. Is, uh, I like that name. Um, well, I guess that's about it for now. We're going to sign off. And uh, thanks for all the information. And I'm sure uh, people will be interested in learning more about you as we go along. Yeah. And uh, I'd like to learn about you, Joe. The world needs a Joe Grill. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we'll do something another time. But, All right, uh, sounds great. Well, thanks, thanks for uh, uh, thanks for uh, the wonderful recording of this tune. I think everyone's gonna love. I mean, it's like. There ain't no expense spared on this. Team. Nah, it's, nah. We we pulled out all the stops on this one. It's beautiful. Thanks, Steve. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.